Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you methods in Java. So I'm going to split this into two parts. So the first part will just be to show you a very basic method that doesn't take in any parameters and doesn't return any values. And then part two will have it a little bit more complicated. So firstly, I have Eclipse open and I have a project called All Code. I have packages there, hello world and variables. I'm going to right click on source and I'm going to create a new package called methods and finish. So that just creates a folder to put any code in uh, for this example. So I'm going to right click on methods then and create a new class. And I'm going to call that methods with a capital letter. So I'm going to do the tutorial in two parts, but I, I will keep the code in one file. Um, I am going to put in a main method there and click on finish. Now I'm going to take out that comment as well in main. So just looking at the layout of this class so far, the first statement package methods. So it's saying that this class, this Java file is physically in a folder called methods. So that's a package that I have created there in Eclipse. Public class methods that defines the name of this class. So the other options there would be an enum um, or an interface. Main method. So that's when I hit the run button. That's telling the JVM where my program starts. And now methods go inside a class. So the class there is depicted by these curly brackets and we have to type everything in there. Well, bar package statements and import statements, which we'll see in, in future tutorials. But for the moment there, I'm going to type in a new method down here underneath. Now I could type it above main or below main. It doesn't matter once it's um, inside the class itself. So I'm going to create a method. I'm going to make it public. The other options there are uh, protected, private, or no, it's known as a modifier or nothing, which is default. So I will explain those a little bit more in a minute. Um, then there's the return type. So I'm going to start off with a method that doesn't return anything. So void means nothing is returned. So no value is returned from this method. I'm going to call the method print hello. And afterwards, you have to put a set of round brackets. I have nothing in those round brackets. That means I don't pass in any values into this method and your method must have a set of curly brackets. So opening and closing. Now, so just to explain a few things, first of all, what is a method? So a method contains lines of reusable code. So you call a method when you need it and it's there to be called again to complete the same task again. Like for example, there might be a method insert data into the database. There might be a method to update a record in the database. There might be a method to print a report for all customers. Um, there might be a method to calculate that. So that, that kind of thing. So it's a method can be called over and over again. Now I'm just going to paint it, paste in a comment that I have here. So that's a multi-line comment starts with a forward slash and just needs one star and the other stars are just to look pretty. And it must end then with a star and a forward slash. Um, you'll find those characters on the numbers keypad um, on your keyboard. So it's just easier to find them there. So methods, they can have the following visibility. So that's the first word is the visibility modifier. So it means where can this method be accessed from? So just as a note here, if you want to pause it and read over it, I'll just summarize it. So public, it's accessible in the whole project that could be protected. So it's visible in the same package. So like in the methods package only or to any uh, child classes that might exist outside of that. Um, if there was nothing there at all, so if that was empty, that's known as default access. So default access uh, can be seen only in the same package, so only in the methods package. And then if a method was private, it could only be used in the class that it's currently in. So for my examples, it doesn't matter what modifier I have on them. Private would probably be the, the best one to put in because I'm only going to call it in the same class. So void, that's the return type. And I have a note on that there as well. So you have to spe you have to include a return type in when you're declaring a method. So void means nothing will be returned. No values will be passed out of this method. The method name. So naming convention again starts with a lowercase letter, uh, multiple words, but no spaces. You put the, sp the words together and capitalize the second or subsequent word. Uh, round brackets, they also are needed and we can pass values in. I'll do that in the next part then. So print hello. So what I'm going to do is do a system.out.printline and the shortcut for that is s out 
and hit control space it will complete that for me and I'm just going to print out hello. Now so I have a method but I have to call this method in code. Just having it there it doesn't do anything like if I hit the run button you see there nothing is printed out down in the console window. So I have to make a call to this method in code. So up in main, now a couple of little things I need to show you here. If I call the method, you call it by its name, you have to put in the set of round brackets and it's a statement so there has to be a semicolon at the end. Okay, that won't work because main is static. Um, static means one per class, which it will be explained on in, in later tutorials. So for the moment, main can only call another method if that method is static as well. And this method isn't static. I could make it static, but that's going to show you a bad example. So what I need to do here, and this is advanced, but you can just follow this for the time being. I need to create what's called an instance or an object out of this class. So I need the class name. So methods. I'm just going to call it my methods equals new methods. Now there's a lot going on there which will be explained in later tutorials. This is using the class name as a data type. My made up variable name, so I made that up, my methods equals new. So I'm creating a new instance out of this class and now I use that variable name that I made up, my methods dot and now I'll get access to the method print hello to call it that way. So that creates creates an instance of this class. So again, that will be explained more when we do classes and objects later on. Now, so I use that instance and now I can get access to any methods that are in the class. And when I run that, code will go, so make, starts off in main, first line in here, create an instance of the class, second line, use that instance to call the print hello method. Control will go down to my print hello method. It will do as it says inside, which is print out to the console hello. And that's what displays underneath. One more line in here. My method again to call it again. I'm using the instance that I've created on the first line in main. Um, dot print hello. Again, control will go back down to the method and print out hello. Uh, one final line, if I lied to you there and said that was the last one, just one final line. So I'm going to print in here the end of main. I forgot my double quotes. End of main. And that is the last line I'm going to put in here. I'm going to run that. You will see control my methods dot print hello goes down, prints out hello, back into main. The method is called again, print hello, execution goes down, prints out hello again, back into main, and then it prints out end of main. So that is an introduction to a very basic method. It's private, means it can only be called in the class that it's in. Void means it doesn't return anything. I called it print hello. You have to have those brackets there. We're gonna, I'm gonna um, advance on that in the next tutorial and show you how to pass values in. And this method just prints out hello and it doesn't return any values. So that is a very basic method that doesn't take any parameters and doesn't return any values. So my next tutorial will show you methods that do take in, will take in a parameter and a method that will return a value as well.